Hi, I'm Ida. And I'm Suka. On our broadcast tonight, Canada has set a ban on weed, and as a result, the employment rate of gardeners has shot up. Russia, the most unlikely of countries, wins the Cricket World Cup in a blowout victory against Belgium. Nightly news begins now. From NBC News World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News. In other news, Archduke, I'm sorry, Archduke Ferdinand is arriving later today to parade through the streets of Bosnia. With his impending ascension to the throne, he's hoping to better connect with his future subjects and establish better relations with the people of the region. Let's now go to our field reporter, Sheikhi Abudi, who is on scene awaiting Archduke's arrival. Thank you, Ida. I'm Sheikh Yabudi in Sarajevo, Bosnia, reporting live from the streets where crowds are excitedly waiting for the Archduke's arrival, especially this guy. As you can see, things are going great here in Sarajevo. The Archduke is being received warmly by the populace. Boo! You suck! Boo! Oh my, I cannot see what's happening here. You know what, Archduke? No, wait, wait, I take that back. You're not Archduke. You're more like Archdouche. You know what, Archdouche? You suck. And you should go back to Russia and, and, and... You're fat! I beg your pardon? Oh, shots fired! Oh, I've been shot! I've been shot! Actual shots fired! Oh my, I cannot believe my eyes. Let's get out of here. Wow, that that just happened. Oh wait, this is this is just in. Austria-Hungary has offered Serbia an ultimatum. They must suppress all anti-Austrian propaganda and take steps to root out and eliminate the terrorist organizations within its border. One such organization called the Black Hand has been suspected to have aided in Arch the Archduke's killer, Gabriel Pransip, and his cohorts, providing weapons and safe passage from Belgrade to Sarajevo. If it weren't for the Serbs and their proud nationalistic feelings, none of this would have happened. Indeed, the hate that Serbs feel towards the Austrians can only be measured by superlatives. While we wait for Serbia's response, Germany is working diplomatically to contain the effects of the ultimatum, but none of the other great powers believe that Austria-Hungary, with its relatively weak military, is acting alone. The battle lines in Europe are being drawn. If Germany stands with Austria against Serbia, by extension, Russia and Russia's allies, France and Britain, will also step into the fray as well. Hey guys, want some fried chicken? Yeah! 